Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to take an in-depth look at oilseed radish in precision farming. Now is almost a mandatory step to be taken instead of the old way where we just planted oilseed radish maybe because we wanted to spice things up or that we got bored or that we just didn't really have any other way of planting or adding fertilizer but we all knew that oilseed radish was kind of not really that important let's be honest with the old version of seasons without precision farming but now with precision farming I tested out and came to a very happy conclusion the canola that you see planted here has a nitrogen value that's perfect and the pH value that is perfect of course, because I added lime only one harvest, one uh, crop ago, which was uh, wheat. Now, you see the nitrogen here. See where it says bad? There it says in the red, it's really bad. The nitrogen that's in the soil now is what was left over after the wheat harvest. And then I planted the oilseed radish on top without any fertilizer in the cedar. Then I waited for the, I waited three days, which I believe, or maybe it was four days. Four days, but that's what seasons on nine days per season. It may be different for people that have six days per season or three days per season. But as soon as it says, you can see it pop up, oilseed radish, you do not have to wait for it to say ready to harvest. Oilseed radish is always going to be in the state of growing. So then what I did is I plowed it out. That brought the nitrogen to 100, which is perfect for canola because canola likes a lot of nitrogen. Whereas your soybeans only like about 20 to 40 nitrogen. Your sunflowers only like about 60 nitrogen so I would not even be planting soybeans or sunflowers here anyway because it's the wrong soil type the soil type that I'm planting these canolas on hold on let me get to the precision farming menu and I will show you what I mean first of all let's let's look here at the fruit types see there I've got oilseed radish and then I'm planting canola on top of that but in precision farming you see the nitrogen after the wheat harvest was sitting at around 40 to 60 about 60 then I planted the oilseed radish on top of that without any fertilizer in the cedar this is important now if I had planted the oilseed radish with fertilizer in the cedar that would have been bad it probably would have caused the oilseed radish to not even germinate but I have not tested that yet I don't know if s seeding oilseed radish and fertilizer at the same time is a good or bad thing or not for oilseed radish but what I did in this case though is I thought to myself okay oilseed radish goes back into the soil it's not an actual harvestable crop for FS19 in this case it may be in real life but for the purposes of this game oilseed radish gets put back into the soil so that's why I figured plant it without any fertilizer it's probably a good idea and I believe I was right it add it as you can see now it's yellow which is 100 which is right at the perfect amount for the soil type sandy loam and loam for the purposes of canola now canola prefers sandy loam as its best soil type canola can then can also go into loam as its second best type and loamy sand as its third so that's why I'm gonna make this whole field canola now and the field on the right of the Fritten Fritz is corn because corn loves loam the most but it will work in sandy loam but that's for another video this video we're talking mostly about the importances now of oilseed radish 
and why it is a game changer now with in between your crop rotations with seasons. Now the yield there that you're looking at there, that's from the previous harvest, the wheat, which proves that wheat likes the most loam and it will work in sandy loam. The harvest and the sandy loam area was at 100%, which is basically an even trade. That's that's good. There's not, you know, that's nothing to say, you know, it's nothing to say that's bad. But check out where the loam was. I got a bonus of 125%, which I believe is what's going to happen when I harvest this canola on the sandy loam. Whereas corn likes loam, it's going to be the best harvest on the loam, but it will be okay on sandy loam. I know it's confusing, but the more you talk about it and the more you hear it, the better it will become. Now this pH value, which is lime, that's going to remain the same just like it was before in the old version where I think it's going to be every th fourth, third or fourth harvest that uh, lime will be needed to be added. But there still needs to be more testing with that. I believe one application of lime every three harvests is probably going to hold true. Who knows, that could change. Maybe for some harvests when the pH gets really bad, really low, maybe before you prep the field, you may have to add two layers of lime. Who knows, it is possible. So the nitrogen now is sitting at a pretty 100 before I plant the canola. You see the nitrogen up there, which is a 180. And in some spots, I'll bet you it's 200. See, here we got nitrogen that was at 60 before, planted the oilseed radish with no fertilizer, and then put the oilseed radish back into the ground, as we're doing now, brings it up to 100, and then when I plant, which the canola brings it right up to 180, which is perfect for canola. Of course, you're not going to plant sunflower or soybeans in this soil type with in, or even use oilseed radish in between crop rotations for soybeans or sunflowers because that would just add too much nitrogen to the soil. So it seems soybeans and sunflowers is a little bit easier to figure out. You're either going to plant it on sandy loam for your... Let's walk over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because I do have some soybeans and sunflowers planted. Over here is my little field of soybeans, which is on sandy loam, which likes 40 nitrogen, and it's saying it's okay. I'll bet you that would be perfect if it was a rating of 20. Now, that would be tough to do. You would have to do that at a, right after a harvest, like, say, this field, where some of it is at 40. It might be a good idea for me not to even add any nitrogen at all to this, Wait until next late spring and plant soybeans here. And I believe 40 nitrogen planted straight up without any fertilizer now. Would what This is what's left on the soil after the harvest. And from what I know and from what I found out, soybeans like a nitrogen value of 40 or 20. That might be a good idea for me to do that. Just don't even touch this field. Just plant straight up, no fertilizer, right in the planter, soybeans, done done deal because it's already been limed now here we've got sunflowers and it's saying that a nitrogen value of 60 is perfect spot on so I'm wondering let me teleport back to the vehicle I'm wondering see how this is here the nitrogen is at 60 now follow me here that was the nitrogen value after the wheat was harvested I wonder if I wanted to plant sunflowers here but I would have to wait until the next late spring, early summer, because that's when the planting season is for sunflowers, as you can see. With the, but this is sandy loam, which is a different soil, but it's the next best soil for sunflowers. That would make me say, hey, maybe I could have planted sunflowers here because the nitrogen value is at a perfect 60 for sunflowers. But that only happened after the weed harvest. Because the 
oilseed radish, like I said, I planted with no fertilizer in the cedar, which I believe in the old version we could do that. So this precision farming mod completely changes the game in a much better, more realistic way, and I like it. So that's going to do it now with this video. Let me just show you once again how it's working. The 60 nitrogen that was in there beforehand, after the wheat harvest, planted the oilseed radish with zero, no fertilizer, just the oilseed radish itself, plowed the oilseed radish back into the dirt, which puts us at 100, then planted the canola with fertilizer in the cedar to bring it at a perfect 180. That's how it's done with oilseed radish. If you have no animals and you need that extra bit of perfection, I like this new mod a lot. So everybody, have a great day. I hope this helps.